Well, hello, guys. Hello. Hello, Hi. hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, can everyone listen to me? Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good hey. Good evening. Hi, can you good can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, hear you. Okay, great. Uh, well, okay. So we're supposed to be like um twenty people in here, but I guess it's raining in some parts of El Salvador, and that's probably why some of you have not connected yet. Uh, as far as I know, you are in advanced level already. So I'm expecting from you guys to speak a little bit more, you know, to have a little more fluent conversation with you. And if at some part of at some point of the meeting, you cannot hear me, please let me know, okay? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Ramirez. Um, I see some familiar faces on the WhatsApp group. Probably some of you already have classes with me. Some others probably is going to be new. But welcome, guys, to this new module. Uh, as you already know, this is advanced level number one. And as I was saying before, I'm expecting guys from you, you know, to speak a little bit more, to be, you know, to have a really nice conversation because at this point of the, of the level, I mean, I think that you already speak the language. Is that correct? Almost. <laughs> okay. Um, it can be. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's a little bit difficult sometimes. And don't be afraid, okay? We are here to learn. We are here to practice. Every single day is going to be, you know, practicing. What I like in my classes, guys, is that, for example, if I listen to a bad pronunciation or something, I will let you know, okay? Because uh, at this point, we're just, let's say, we're making you a little bit more perfect. Your The way you speak, the way you say things, you know, we're just trying to, to help you out to improve, okay? So... If you do not understand something that I'm saying, also let me know, okay? Or if you think that I'm speaking too fast or something like that, let me know. Okay, don't be afraid. Tell me, teacher, please slow down a little bit because I don't understand you, okay? okay? It's okay. We're here to make mistakes and every single thing that we do, it's like uh, we're learning every day. We do not know everything, and every single day there's something new to learn, okay? So, uh, welcome once again, guys, to this, to this module. Hope to learn as many things as possible. And, well, uh, part of my experience, let's say I have worked in the call center industry for around five years. Uh, I have been working as an English and French teacher. Uh, for four years already, so I speak English and French. Um, I might look a little bit young. I'm 27, but uh, I have had a lot of experience already, so feel free to ask. I remember when I was learning, like, you know, English or French, it was difficult, but it's never impossible, okay? So if I did it, why not you? So uh, we are made of the same, uh, you know, the same material. We have bones, we have skins, we have the same thing. We have brain. So we all can learn and every single day we're going to try to improve, okay? I might sound a little bit weird right now because I had a surgery on my mouth like four days ago. So my way of uh, talking right now is not like, I'm still trying to heal, but we're here, okay? So welcome to the ones that just connected. Um, well, I don't see familiar faces so far, but okay, that's good. So um, I would like to know a little bit about you before we start. I would like to listen to you, at least your name, 
what do you expect from this module? And uh, just for me to listen a little bit about you and the way you speak, okay? So any volunteer? Or we have no volunteers? I am here, teacher. My name is Richard. Hey, Hello. Richard. Good, good evening. Good yeah, evening. Okay, yeah, Richard. Teacher. Tell me, teacher. Tell me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Richard. Really, it is very important for me this class because I I expect improve my English because this is this is other other way I can improve my life. So okay. it's very important for me. Yes, it's very important for me to practice my four skills, listen, reading, writing, because I have a few time because I have I have to work, but it's important for me, my class. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you Bye too, Richard. Way. Okay, thank you. Um, I completely understand, guys, that some of you work during the day and uh, to be here, it's uh, a little bit of sacrifice from your part, but at the same time, it's like, you know, that it's going to help you in the future. So uh, thank you very much for the effort. Uh, every single day that you're here, it's like it show us that you want to learn. And at the end of the day, it's you, right? The one that is going to to learn like something new or a new language that is going to help you obviously like if you want to get a job or if you just want to uh you know learn the language just to, co to communicate with others that's also something that is going to help you out so thank you richard uh i would like to have someone else any other volunteer or do i have to choose someone Okay, volunteer, no volunteer. Already, okay. so okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, well, good evening. Uh, my name is Jose Arturo Ramirez. I live in Santana City. Okay, great. I'm 30 years old and I'm a technician in air conditioners. Mm -hmm. Um, my day is um very busy. I understand. But um, I would like to improve my English. Of course. My, my speaking skill, um, my fluency. And this is um, someone, my goals for this year. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Jose. Nice to meet you and welcome to the court. So let's see. Um, I see a lot of people right now. Welcome, guys. The other ones that just connected. Uh, let me see, Jose arriving. Okay, sir, um, uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Good evening. Uh, well, I'm Jose arriving and Jose, <laughs> Jose arriving Enrique. I'm trying to, <laughs> to he forgot his name. He's don't be nervous. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I'm Jose arriving Enrique. I'm from San Salvador. I'm a custom auditor. Okay. And, well, my day used to be kind of busy, but this is something something refreshing for me because I like to to learn English. It's one of my goals since right. I was a child, and now it is it is getting real for me. And I'm happy to be here. And Perfect. I expect to learn more and more every day. Of course, yes. We're gonna that, we're it. gonna try to learn as much as possible. And if you guys think about the very first day that you were here on the program and that, that you didn't know how to speak the language and look at you right now. Now you understand. Now probably you have a little bit of probably some issues when it comes to pronunciation but now you can see the progress that you have had so you should be proud of yourselves first of all and you know every single day we'll learn something so uh someone else any other volunteer 
No volunteer. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Francisco Lemos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, partners. Uh, I actually uh, I live in, in San Salvador, in San Jacinto. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I am uh, 32 years, years old. I'm sorry for my, my pronunciation. I, it's okay. Uh, I... I no te, tengo un poco de tiempo de no practicar, así que sorry. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Nadia, I see that you raise your hand. Go ahead, please. Hi, nice to meet you. And uh, my name is Nadia Rodriguez, and I need to learn more practice English for the communicate or for my family and friends and they live in uh, other countries and and they don't uh, speak anything uh, Spanish and but that reason I need I need to learn it's perfect very well. thank okay. you thank you uh now let's see Jenny Santiana go ahead please hey, good evening teacher good evening my name is Jenny Santillana. I I need to learn English, but for me it's so hard. I know. Uh, <laughs> but I try to to express and to le learn every day a little. Perfect. Uh, no, that's okay. That's the attitude. That's what we need. Thank you very much, Jenny. Uh, okay. someone else would like to introduce. Nobody else. Okay, let's go with Cesar Alexander. Oh, we'll say you have a filter over there. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Cesar Alexander Ramirez. I live in the Santana City. Um, my day is busy in the work. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very nice, very nice week, and um, I like the uh, the learn English. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Wendy Moreno. Go ahead, please. Good night. Uh, my name is Wendy Moreno. Um, I'm very proud of myself to be here in this module because I wait a lot of time um, really? and I need to learn more uh, speaking because I think that for all of us um, is the most difficult part. I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Go ahead. Take away the shame, um, mm -hmm. to speak um, without the pray to make it grow. So I hope to practice a little more and learn a lot in this module. Yeah, of course, thank you. Um, well, as you already know, uh, you are already in advanced level. So um, I'm gonna try to speak like most of the time, like 95% like in English. If I see faces like confused or something like that, I would probably say something in Spanish, but 95% of that will be in English. So if you guys do not understand something, once again, please let me know because we are here to help each other, okay? And also, uh, one thing that I like is please try to participate. Why? Because if you participate, I can listen to what you say. And if you say something wrong or if you mispronounce any word, I can be able to correct you. And that's why we're here, because we're trying to make our English a little bit more perfect, okay? We completely understand that learning a new language, it can be a little bit challenging, or it can be a little bit difficult. But we can do it. We all can do it, okay? So uh, I don't know if someone else would like to introduce. or Daisy, go ahead, Daisy. Uh, good evening, everyone. 
my name is Daisy Rodriguez. Um, I'm 26 years old. I currently live in San Salvador. And I'm currently studying accounting at the University of El Salvador. Okay. And I want to learn to speak English more fluently and write without making many mistakes. Okay, perfect. Great. Thank you. Uh, Alejandro Quintanilla, go ahead, please. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hey, nice hello. To nice um, to meet you, too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so, so happy, you know, because I noticed that you really know the, the, um, the language of English, and I feel this, uh, this hope that you can um, help us to, to um, improve our pronunciation, especially. Of and, course, yes. Uh, and improve uh, our um, grammatically and, and all, all things that uh, have to be uh, uh, around the, the English. So I want to ask you that okay. please help us uh, to improve of our course. pronunciation because, yeah. because I, I feel that this is the, the moment or, or maybe the best opportunity that we have to improve with you. Yeah. So nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Yes. Uh, one of the main goals I have, guys, is that you uh, improve your pronunciation. Yeah. Why? This is really, really important. Because I remember when I was learning English, I made some mistakes. And I don't want you guys to go through the same situation. So now, if I listen to you, for that's why I'm telling you, try to participate. If I ask you something, try to say or repeat it or something like that. And that way, I can listen to you. And if I hear like a, you're mispronouncing something, I can, of course, let you know that. That's not the way we pronounce it, okay? So, but welcome to the others. Um, I think some of you probably had classes with me before. I don't know. Has any of you had classes before with me or no? You? Jose? Oh, you have no. a question? Oh, yes? No, no. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the first time, teacher. Oh, no. We have, oh, we have two Jose's here. So we have Jose Arturo and Jose arriving. Oh, arriving. Yeah, that's you, right? I remember you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. Welcome once again. It's nice to see you. Uh, all right. So we're going to start uh, today due to what we came. Welcome, everyone. Once again, it's really nice to see you here and to have you here. Sorry for the others that were not able to introduce themselves. Um, but today we're going to start with a little bit of grammar. I know the grammar it's a little bit tedious and uh, not most of us like it, to be honest. It's like, um, but it's grammar. It's like uh, when we went to school, like a language that we call it in El Salvador, lenguaje, that we call it in El Salvador at school. It's like they teach you pretty much grammar, but in Spanish. So we have the same thing in English, and we're going to start with that, okay? So um, let me just start sharing the screen so we can we can get started. Let's see. One thing that I noticed is that we are all from, like, we are from all over the, the country, I guess. Some of you said in Santa Ana, some others in San Salvador. I am in Usulután right now, so we are from all over the, like the country. That's good. Alrighty, let's see. Um, here we have today, guys. Uh, can you all see the screen, or you, can you see the screen now? Yes, I can see. Alrighty, okay, good. Yes. Let me just share in here. Start sharing. All right, perfect. Can you see now what I'm? What does it say in there? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Good. Yes. Let me just. Okay, good. 
Perfect. So as you can see, guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about infinitives and gerunds. I'm pretty sure that most of you, if not the majority, already know or have an idea about infinitives or gerunds. Am I right? Or you don't, you know nothing about it. Or you don't remember. Any idea about infinitives or gerunds? Yeah, teacher. Okay, what, yeah, what, teacher. what's that? Can you tell me a little bit about that, Ricardo? Yeah, you use the infinity when you when you have a two verbs together. For example, one to play. In general, you can use the general when you say, for example, when you use the ing. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. So I said that you have like an idea. Probably most of you, as I said before, already have an idea what infinitives and gerunds are. Today, we are going not to go to the basics, but we are going to go to the most advanced uh, parts of the infinitives. Because today's topic is about infinitive and gerunds, but today we're also going to focus on pronunciation of some verbs and also to understand or to learn how to identify when uh, an infinitive is or the verbs followed by infinitives and the verbs followed by gerunds, okay? So that's going to be pretty much the topic that we're going to have for today. So let's get started. First of all, let me just see. This is not going down okay oh this is not moving okay here we go all right so here we have i would like to have uh, uh someone that can help me any anyone volunteer that would like to help me reading this part all of it me teacher go ahead no. please what are infinitives an infinitive is the word to plus the base form of the verb. It can also fu function as an adjective or adverb. It is not a preposition. Perfect. To be to bear. Can you repeat this word again? Can you repeat this? Structure. Structure. Okay. Plus mm -hmm. To to. Plus verb mm -hmm. to cook, to use, to like. Okay, perfect. So something that I want to remind you all guys is that every single time that we have a word that starts with the letter S, uh, we've made the common mistakes when, when it comes to pronunciation. What we do is that we add a little a letter E at the beginning and we say a structure. But no, in English, what we have to do is only the sound of the letter S. What's the sound of the letter S? Like a snake. So we say structure. So we don't, we don't have to say a structure. You listen to the difference? Yeah. All right. So that's what we have to pay attention to. Every single time that we have a word that starts with the letter S, do not add the letter E at the beginning. You only have to make the sound of the letter S and then say it at all. Okay. So thank you, Nadia, for your participation. So as it says in here, and as we already know, infinitives are those verbs that have the word to. We already know that the word to can also act as a preposition, but in this case, the word or this little word to is not acting as a preposition. It's part of the verb. So all together, the little word to plus the verb we call it in English infinitive, infinitive, okay? So we say to cook, to use, to like, all right? Perfect. So let's move on and let's try to find out how do we create a positive sentence with that. So here we have some examples and I would like to have someone else's participation.
someone would like to participate or not? Uh, me, um, Go ahead, Jose. Uh, I will tell you Arturo then, because yep. we have another Jose, so he, we get confused. Okay. Um, positive or uh, negative. There is not a specific form to collect, to find. She came to collect her paycheck. The okay. three bears went to find firewood. Can you say this word again? Bears. Bears. Okay, good. Can you say this one again? Three. Say it again? Three. I'm listening, um, I'm listening to Arbol. Say it again. Uh, three. You're still saying Arbol. Okay. Three. A little bit there. Can someone tell me how do we pronounce this? Yeah. What's the sound yeah. of? It is like a three. Like three. a three. 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 Like three. a Z, like a three. Z yeah. uh, as in three. zebra. Three. Yeah. Okay. Say it on uh, Philomena. Say it. Three. Uh, that's a the, little. The okay. Three girls going to find five. Okay. Alejandro, three. can you say it? The three beers went to find firewood. Okay, pay attention to that because what you said it was beer. You know what beer is? Bears. So, bears. Yeah. So this bears. is bears. Okay, we yeah. gotta be a little careful. Okay, so okay. can you you see why pronunciation is important? Because probably sometimes you might think. Or if you speak with an American and that you think that you're saying something, but the American is going to understand something completely different. And it's like, oh, wait a minute, what are you saying? So it's like, <laughs> you know, it's it's very, very uncomfortable situation. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it happens. It, it happens. We learn from mistakes, so it's okay. So here we have like some examples of how to create a positive. Uh, a positive sentence, of course, as it says there, there's not in a specific form, okay? The only thing that we have to pay attention to at this moment is that what we are going to learn today is which verbs can be followed by an infinitive and which verbs can be followed by gerunds, okay? So we're going to go to the negative forms, and here we have some others. Can I have someone else participation? Volunteer. No se peleen, verdad? I just want one person. Okay, Sonia. Sonia, I see that you raise your hand. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You go next, Sarah. I mean. Negative. Not plus infinitive. To go. I desire not to go to London. Uh, to be, he 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 asked me not to be late to mm -hmm. sing. I like you not to sing so loudly, loudly. Loudly, mm -hmm. loudly. To eat, I rather. I I rather rather rather, I rather. rather not mm -hmm. eat meat. Perfect. Thank you. Um, let's see. I would like to listen to everyone pronunciating this verb right here. And I'm going to start by Alejandro. I want to listen to you, Alejandro. Go ahead. Ask. Uh, Filomena, go ahead. Ask. Okay. Uh, let's see. Someone else. Uh, let's see. Jose Arturo. Ask. Wendy, go ahead. Asked. Okay. Iris Hernandez. Ask. Okay, Jenny. Asked. Daisy. Asked. Ricardo. Asked. Francisco Alberto. Asked. Cesar Alexander. Ask it. Ask 
Okay, Maritza Isabel. <coughs> asks. Okay, Nadia. He asks. Uh, ask it, ask it. Okay, ask Wilbur. Ask. And Rosemary. Ask. Noemi Alicia. He asked me. Ask me. Noemi. He asked me. Okay, ja Javier Lucero. Mm. And Patricia Gonzalez. No, Patricia Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Ask. Rafael Ruiz. <coughs> Rafael Ruiz. Okay, Ask. good. And Debbie. Debbie Segura. Ask. All right. Uh, here I've been. Ask. Okay. Um, perfect. So um, I listen that some of you are still having some little bit of issues when it comes to pronunciating the past. Here, we have to say asked. We made the sound of the letter K and then the sound of the letter T, asked. It's a little bit tricky at the beginning, but once you're practicing, 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 you're going to do it, okay? Asked, asked. Can you listen to the, can we listen to the K, to the sound of the K, and then to the letter T, asked. So he asked me not to be late, okay? I decided not to go to London. Here, we can say go to. We can make a contraction, like to speak more fluent, uh, or Americans used to like to do that. They usually do that. Like, for example, to sound more like native of the language, they, they do not say, not to go to London. Yeah, we can say that, and that's completely perfect. But if you want to sound like more native or something like that, you can say not to go to London. Go to. Go to London. You listen to that? So we say, I decided not to go to London. So you sound a little bit more native of the language. Those are a little bit of the, uh, like little tips that I'm giving to you so you can have an idea of that, okay? So, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what was that? Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, but uh, this, the pronun pronunciation is for uh, speaking, irregular speaking? Oh, or no, no, no. Uh, no, you mean, you mean like language of the streets or like informal language or formal language, is that what you mean? Or no? No, uh, no. I, this... I told you, I, I am asking that because I know uh, some person that don't like that pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they prefer the formal pronunciation. So mm -hmm. uh, when we use the formal, that, that pronunciation that do, you say, mm -hmm. and when we use the formal pronunciation that the other person prefer. Okay, uh, well, this one, when you say go to, is not, is not informal, actually it's formal. That happens when you're speaking very fast and you're having like, you know, you're, ha you're giving a speech or you're having a, a, a conversation with, with someone that speaks really fast. So they usually made a contract without them even notice that they are doing that. So if you say go to London, that's formal. But if you say if you want to say go to London, that's also formal. You know what I mean? Or yes. They... So okay. you you say that we don't have different. Oh yeah, of course. We can have different uh, pronunciations, but with these specific words, uh they are both pronunciations are formal. Formal. Yeah. 
but okay. with some others i completely understand that with some <laughs> other words are informal ways and formal ways to say it i get you okay, okay. Thank, thank you teacher, thank you for asking okay that's good Alrighty. so here we have like some other information about bare infinitives why do we call them bare bare infinitives we call them in that way because we use model verbs do you guys remember model verbs and here we have them we have uh most of them actually would could you know but i would like someone participate oh here i been you wanted to participate before so i want you to help me with this please uh, a very infinitive is very infinitive is an infinitive without two. You're most likely to see bare infinitives with model verbs. Good, could, can, should, will, may, might, auto, shall, and others. Okay, good. Perfect. So as you can see here, we have the model verbs. I'm pretty sure that the majority of you have an idea or remember them because you saw them before. Okay. So for you to understand, bare infinitives are always going to be used without two. And that can be a little bit, you know, like tricky for you to understand because the way that we identify infinitives is because of the word two, right? Yeah, I've been. Go ahead. Teacher in Spanish is like a infinitivo desnudo. No, I don't understand. <laughs> um, um, that's the um, let's see, like the um, like the translation that we can give to. Um, but no, that like in Spanish it will be like something oh. not really desnudo, but it's like um how can we how can we use um essential maybe t shirt or simple? No. No 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 not really, no. Um well we can use like a, a synonym of that and we're gonna say that um Infinitives, we're going to say without connector, let's say like that. But we cannot really translate it desnudo because, you know, Barry, it's like desnudo. But that's their, like the translation if you literally translate it. But we can we can say infinitivo sin connector. That's what we're going to call them, okay? All right. So we're going to have some examples. You. Yeah, you're welcome. So I would like to have someone else's, let's see. Uh, aquellos que se me están escondiendo. Well, let's see, Francisco, Alberto, go ahead. Help me with examples, please. Hey, DJ. I call the an astronaut. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she might she might have another uh another hamburg hamburger. Okay. Uh, can the man the manager all the job for me? Say this again. Hold. Okay. Hold. Uh, you should sleep a little more before or sleep. Yes? Flight. Flight, sorry, sorry. Flight. She wants to spend... spend oh, you would say shock. Shock, sorry. Shock, shock one and spend more than and cheating, cheating on his hard coat, no? Haircut. Haircut. Hair. Sorry, Say it Heart. again. Heart. No. Hair. Haircut. Hair. No, no, no. Haircut. Haircut. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Say These, no, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We're here to learn, okay? So 30. let's see. We say 30. 30. 30. Sorry. 30. 30. 30. Okay. 30. Um, and this one. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Uh, I heard yes, that here, remember, guys, we only have to make the sound of the letter S. We do not have to add the letter E. 
no hay que agregarle la letra E al inicio, ¿verdad? Decimos o tenemos tendencia a decir sleep. Le agregamos la E, but no. In English, we only have to make the sound of the letter S. So, you should sleep. Chuck won't spend. Okay? Good. Thank you. Now, um, we can also have infinitives as subject of a sentence. How come that? And it's going to be very easy to identify them. Why? Because, obviously, will be at the beginning of the sentence. And as you already know, the verb will have the little word to next to it. So automatically, if you see it in that way, you will automatically identify it. And you will know that this infinitive is acting as a subject. So can I have two volunteers, please? The first one for help me reading this part, and the second one to help me reading this whole thing. Someone? Me. Sure. Oh, we are fired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to have, uh, first of all, let's go with Arturo, and then, Filomena, you help me with the examples, okay? All right, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, subject of a sentence. Infinity do appears as a subject. Say it again. Appear. Appear. Appear as appear as the subject of a sentence from time to time. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, Philomena, let's go with the examples, please. Examples. To be an astronaut is How do we, my uh, How do we say this? Uh, How do we say it? Someone? Someone, any idea? Astronaut. 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 Yeah, correct. To be an astronaut is my dream. Okay. To have a hamburger was what I want. Okay. I hold the job was what the manager promised. How do we pronounce this? Promised. Someone? Promised. 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 Excellent. Promised. Good. To Good. hold. To hold the job was what the manager promised. No. Promised. No? Promised. <laughs> but okay. that's good. It's okay. It's okay. okay. To sleep before the fire is a good S idea. Start to again, please. Sleep. Okay. To sleep before the fire is a good idea. Good. To spend thirty say it, dollars. Say it, say it, to, it again. To to. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. To, to spend. Excellent. That was good. To spend thirty dollars on the high cut. No. A, uh, haircut? Hair... Haircut. 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 Haircut is out of the question. Say it again. Question? Well, little. Okay. Question. <laughs> question, okay. All right. So it's okay, guys, if we make mistakes that while we're here. But I like that, okay? I like you, uh, like, when you made a mistake, I like you to repeat the same word. Why? Because it's going to help you. That's the way we're going to improve, okay? I do this every single time. And, for example, like, the ones that already had classes with me, they already know that. It's like every single time I do that. For example, tomorrow, I'm going to ask you regarding to this class. So every single day I do the same thing. Why? Because I not only want you to be in the class, listen to what I say, or read to what we have, and then tomorrow you don't remember. That's not the point. We're here like every day. We're going to try to remember what we saw the previous day. 
So in that way, we have, we can have like, you know, a little reminder or to refresh a little bit of what we probably forgot. Okay. So let's move on. And here we come with the pronunciation part. Okay. Now, I want to listen to some of you first to see how you guys pronounce it. But let's see. I will, I will ask for, let's see, um, Iris Hernandez Cuellar, are you here? Well, probably she's not in here. Okay, let's see, Andrea Michel. Hello? I think she's not here either. Rafael Ruiz? Come on, guys. Yeah. Are you here? Okay. Uh, yes. All right. Perfect. So, um, can you please make the pronunciation of this line, please? Okay. Agree. Manage. Appear. Need. Arrange. Neglect. Ask. Offer. Begin. Plan. Can't bear. That was good. So far, so good. Let's see. Can I have a volunteer? Uh, we're gonna go with Ricardo first, and then we we'll go with Jenny. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prefer can stand. No. Okay. Prefer. Here. Okay. Go ahead. Say it again. Okay. Prefer. We say prefer. Prefer. Uh huh. Okay. I forget the pronunciation, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Prefer can't stand. No. Say it again. Can't stand. Stand. Okay. I will accept it, but we we need to practice in there. Okay. Together the the S. Can't yeah. stand. Yeah. Can't can, stand. Can't stand. Okay, esa, esa letra E se nos tiene que ir quitando, vea, esa letra E del yeah. inicio, la vamos a quitar, de aquí vamos a salir pronunciando bien, ok, go ahead. Prepare, mm -hmm. care, for, say it again. I don't know how do you pronounce that, teacher, really it is a new word for me, fail. Can someone help him? Any idea, the others? Fail. 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 Say it again. Fail. We say fail. Fail. Mm -hmm. Fail. Okay, Fail. good. Go Fail. ahead. Kidding? Say it again. I don't know. Did you, I'm not sure. Threatening? We say threaten. 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 Yeah. Okay. Probably, okay. probably these words are for you new, probably, but it's good that you know them, like this or these verbs. Yeah. Go ahead, say that again. Uh, tr threaten. Written. No, it's that Z, that Z as in zebra. Threaten. 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 Mm -hmm. Threaten. Okay. Yeah. Forget. Try, get, and bow. No, he would say bow. 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 Okay. Oh, really? Okay, sorry, teacher. Uh, really, I, I, I never see this word, teacher. Uh, for example, threaten is new for me. This threaten? Word. Like, let me give yeah. you an example. For example, it's like, uh, let's say that you live in a very dangerous area of El Salvador. And you have to get away from that area because someone has threatened you. You get oh, really? the idea? But yeah, I I under, I understood the idea, but it's, it's similar when you say when you is, is, uh, live in is, is stay in in dangerous. For example, when you when you want to save your life. Yeah, because someone threatens you someone threatens you do you understand I the kill, idea it's similar when i kill you for example it's similar 
Does anyone uh, know what's the meaning of threaten? Amenazar. Amenazar, correctly. That's the verb amenazar. So, for yeah. example, you can say, someone threatened me. Alguien me amenazó. Someone threatened me. Okay? So, those are new words that probably you don't understand. If you do not understand any of the words in there, we can see that later on. But for the moment, we're going to the pronunciation part. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. Now, let's go with Jenny. Okay. Wait. Hate. Hate. Want. Hesitate. Hesitate, okay. Wish. Wish, okay. Hope. 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 Would like. <clears throat> intent. Yearn. Yearn. Learn. Pretend. Pre pretend. 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 Okay. Good. Now, uh, can I have another volunteer? Me, teacher. Who is me? Janira Mendoza. Okay, Janira, go ahead. Seize, mm -hmm. promise, mm -hmm. choose, propose, mm -hmm. claim, refuse, continue, regret, decide, remember, demand. Excellent. That was really good, actually. Very good. Good. And we, have, we can have, uh, can we have the last person volunteer? Volunteer, come on, guys. The other ones, okay. Maritza, is that you? Wendy Moreno. Oh, Wendy, go ahead. Sorry, seem deserve start. Okay, dread. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is that mean. Dread is like, for example, um, it's a synonym of fear. So if you say fear or dread, that's the same thing. Okay. The matter, let's say. Mm -hmm. Swear. Okay. Speak. Tend. Tend. Perfect. Now, is there any question or something regarding to this line, something that you do not understand? From this part, do you understand it all? Okay, yes, so I, I have a question. What's your question? Okay. I'm sorry. What what was that? Uh yeah, Neglect. Neglect. Okay. When we say neglect, does any one of you, the others, do you guys have any idea or something? Um, or it's new for everyone? No idea at all? Um, can be um, the action of a person um, Uncareful. Yeah, pretty much. When we say neglect is when we're talking about descuidar, that you are a ne like neglecting. You're neglecting. That's what we can say, descuidar. Okay? Okay, so now, can we? if we go to this part, the second part here, is there anyone that you do not understand? T-shirt, excuse me. Uh, what's the meaning of can bear? Can bear? Uh-huh. No, no soporto. I can't bear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Can bear. Teacher, what mm -hmm. is the what is the uh, mean bow? Bow, like um, for example, that you have like um, the, that you're bowing because you're getting married. It's like like the same idea. Do you know what a bow is? Like when you go to, when you're getting married and you go to in front of the church and the minister and you give your vows because you're in love with the other person. You know what that is? It's like it, a promise that you yeah. Pay. yeah, Yeah, pretty much. But in this case, since it's a verb, there's a, es un verbo. So when we say bow, we meant to votar, but not votar like 
trash. You know what I mean? It's like botar de, de promesa. You know, that's, that's what it means. Okay. Do we understand? Oh. Si entendemos? Yeah. Good. All yes, right. Tim, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. So uh, any other question with the, this one, number number three? Um, hesitate. 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 For example, if I tell you, if you have any question, do not hesitate to ask me. Any idea? The others, los demás. Do that. Do that. Exactly. No do this. No do, do that. Hesitate. Mm -hmm. Now, any other question regarding to the third line? Yearn. Yeah. Yearn. For example, it's like uh, um, what we call in Spanish, we say añorar o anhelar. For example, uh, like I yearn to go to France, for example. Anelo. Similar miss, similar miss you, teacher. I'm sorry, what was that? Similar miss you. Uh, no. No, because no. miss, when you say miss, is because extrañar. It's a feeling. And yearn, yes. it's like anelo. Tu anelas. You yearn. That's pretty much. You, you know? Like... Those are verbs, estos son verbos que no, we're not, are not commonly used, not even in Spanish, right? You don't go like, you don't go to, or you don't talk to your mother, or you don't have a conversation saying, oh, yo anhelo ir a tal lugar, no, right? Es rara, rara vez cuando utilizamos a anhelar. We don't use that word even in Spanish. So that's probably why it's a little bit like no common to all of us. But it's really good if you know how to use it, or at least if you know the meaning, okay? So, any question regarding to the fourth one? Yes. Since it's, for example, when, um, what well, we will say in Spanish, cesar. Cesar, like, terminar. Like, the word ceased. See, ¿Sí? la guerra cesó. Two minutes ago, hace dos minutos. So, once again, this is another verb that it's rarely used, but it's important if we know it. Why not? Okay. Mm, any okay. other? Any um, other? Go ahead. Swear. Swear. For example, if you say, "I swear to God that I will learn English." Any idea? It's like to pray. It's jurar. Jurar, exactly. Oh. Juro que aprenderé inglés. Juro por Dios que aprenderé inglés. I swear to God that I will learn English. Okay? Good. Any okay. other questions so far? What is swear? I'm sorry, what? What is swear, teacher? I'm swear. Swear. Excuse me. What is? We just say that. Can someone repeat? Jose, what swear? What where, swear? Where? Where where is? Is? Juramento. No, yes, Jurar. I know. I, and thank you, but I, I, I don't know where is in the list. Where is? I can see. Uh, I can see it either. Swear. Where do you see it? It's in the last line. Yeah, the last oh, line. yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, here yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, good. So, no questions so far? 10, good. teacher. 10. For example, it's like uh, um, when we say here, we will say in Spanish, tender a, like yo tiendo a, but no de tender cosas, sino de ropa, right? It's tender de una acción, that I tend to be on time every day. Tiendo a estar a tiempo todos los días. That's pretty okay. much idea. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So if there's no any other question, remember, this is the list, or these are the verbs that can be followed, as it says here, followed by an infinitive. What does it mean? 
It means that after these verbs, I can have an infinitive. I can say, for example, um, as an example, Alejandro agreed to talk to me. You see, agreed to talk. Right after agree, I have an infinitive. So that's what we're trying, that's what I'm trying to explain to you right now. That after these verbs, we can have an infinitive. Only an infinitive. Okay? But there's, of course, some exceptions uh, in which uh, both or the same verb can be followed by either infinitive or gerund. But we're going to see that in a moment, okay? So let's continue with that. All right, so here we have some examples. Oh, what time is it? I'm sorry. I'm just talking it. Oh, it's time already. Jesus, we didn't even fill the time. So we're gonna live with these. And um, who can help me with this part? Any volunteer? Yes, me teacher, Alejandro. Go ahead, Alejandro, thank you. So, look at these examples. I love to swim at night. Uh, she doesn't want to see you again. Again, I'm sorry. Okay, She perfect. doesn't want to see you again. Mm -hmm. It's beginning to show, to no. snow, I'm sorry. It's Say it again. Snow. Say it again. It's beginning to snow. Okay, that was good. All right, perfect. So, um, well, we didn't even feel the time, right? One mm -hmm. hour was really fast. But I hope you you learned something new today. And um, well, remember that this module is going to be from from Monday through Thursdays from eight to nine. And I don't know if you all have access to the platform already. Yes, Do you yes. all have access? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. If any one of you does not have an access or it's having any type of situation with the platform, please inform me, okay? We have the WhatsApp group in which we can all communicate. If you are not coming to the class, please also let me know, okay? I know situations happen probably, you know, in the worst case scenario, we can have, um, you know, someone died. We don't want that, of course, but situations are situations and things happen every day. Uh, if you're not coming to the class, let me know. If you have any question regarding to any of the uh, exercises on the platform, let me know. If you feel, um, if you have like, uh, you know, like a question regarding to any exercise, but you don't want your classmates to know that you have a doubt regarding to that, you can text me directly, okay? And ask me, hey, teacher, I have this question regarding to this, this and that, okay? And I will be there every single time to help you out. Uh, you can text me at any time, and whenever I have the time, I will reply back, okay? So uh, once again, uh, it's going to be a pleasure for me to work okay, with you. Thanks. And thank you all for coming today. The ones that have been participated, thank you very much for that. Remember, this is your time to show and to learn, okay? I'm very happy to be part of this group and we will see once again tomorrow. So I hope to see you tomorrow evening. I hope you all have a good night, okay? Uh, okay, teacher, thank um, you, teacher, I have a question. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Arturo. Go ahead. What's your question? Um, could you share us the the presentation? Yeah, sure. Of course. Uh, I can do it right now after the class or I will do it tomorrow morning. But if you can, please remind me on the WhatsApp group because I have sometimes a lot of things to do and I forget it, honestly. Okay. So um, please, if you can remind me on the WhatsApp group so I will... If I don't do it today after the class, I will do it tomorrow morning, but I will share that with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. have a good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Everyone. Bye.